Hey there! What's up my YouTube fam? Hope you guys are having a good day. It's actually my time where I am. But hope you're having a good day or evening or whatever time of day you're watching this. I hope it's good for you. Um, I wanted to make a video. Um, and I'm, I'm trying not to make too many videos about this because it's not something that interests everybody. It's not something that everybody really cares a whole lot about. So, I'm trying not to make too many videos like this. But I want to talk to you guys more um, about my whole, I don't know what to call it, my change of things. I am, um, as most of you know, it's not all of you know, um, I have begun going for walks and riding my exercise bike daily and trying to become more physically active. For me, it's not about losing weight or getting skinnier. It's not about, um, you know, dieting and eating short types of foods. It's only about getting more active because I've known for a long time now that the more active you are, the lower your fibromyalgia pain levels are liable to be. And so I've been wanting to, I've been trying to become more physically active. Um, I have been going for a walk in the morning before it gets too hot, and then going for a walk in the evening uh, as the sun's going down when it's a little bit cooler outside. I've also been riding my exercise bike between 10 and 30 minutes a day. It varies, um, uh, but I have really been enjoying my walks, and um, so um, I wanted to just kind of let you guys know I'm still doing that. Um, this coming Monday will be two weeks I've been doing this, and it's not a very long time. But I was curious to find out if I had lost any weight. Now, I've only been doing this for two weeks. I wasn't expecting to have lost anything at all. Losing weight takes time, and, and that's not the focus of this anyway. But I was curious because I went to the doctor back in July, back in late July. And, of course, when you go to see the doctor, one of the things you usually do is they'll weigh you to see how much your weight is. And so I called my doctor's office, and I said, um, I'm, I'm wanting to know if you can tell me, um, how much I weighed at my last appointment. I was there in late July. I gave them the date and time I was there, and I said, I want to know if you can tell me how much my weight was. And they told me how much my weight was at that appointment. That was in late July. We're now heading for late September. And between that appointment and today, I've lost seven pounds. And I was just in shock. Now, I don't own a weight scale or anything like that here in my apartment, uh, but I had to go to the grocery store a few days ago to buy some groceries, and they had those little machines you can say that will take your blood pressure or your heart rate or tell you how much you weigh or just that kind of thing. And so I went, I found those little machine things that you sit down on, and it was one that actually would tell you how much your weight was. Now, I don't know how accurate those things are. It may be off by a couple pounds, but still to know I, I lost seven pounds was like, wow. <laughs> so, and it's only been two months since that appointment. So, um, I've been trying to become more physically active intentionally over the last two weeks. So, and like I said, it's not about losing weight or getting to a certain weight number or it's just about becoming more physically active. And so, um, I have been walking between 1.2 and 2 miles every day. That's a total of walking in the morning and the evening and getting on my exercise bike for anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes a day. So, I've been walking between, walking and biking total between 1.2 miles and 2 miles every day. And trying to burn at least 150, 200 calories uh, a day if I can. I have very modest goals right now. And, um, but that 7 pound weight loss was just like, wow. <laughs> so, um... It was very eye-opening and kind of got me even more motivated to, to keep going with this. And um, I, I've been struggling lately because 
like for example today by the time that the sun came up around seven around seven thirty in the morning and by eight o'clock it was almost ninety degrees already. So it's really hard to get out there and walk before it gets hot. Because it's like it's already hot and muggy and humid. By the time the sun comes up, it's already getting to that point. And the humidity just sapped my energy, it sapped my strength, it wears me out, it tires me out for the rest of the whole day, I'm overheated. I'm only out there for between, I only walk between 10 and 15 minutes each time. So I'm not like out there for half an hour or, you know, I'm not doing something crazy like that. I'm out there between 10 and 15 minutes each time. But it's so hard to get out there and walk, and it already be hot and muggy out. Now, I know that fall is around the corner. We have cool temperatures coming. I think next week the highs are going to be in the 70s, and then the 90s, which will help a lot. But it's been a struggle for me to get out and walk, because by the time I'm done, I'm so weak, and my energy has been just gone. My strength is gone. I'm overheated. You know, I'm I'm uh, weak. I'm tired. I'm just, you know, just blah for the rest of the whole day. So I'm really hoping that the cold temperatures will come quickly, and that uh, hang on a second here. My computer's doing stuff. Sorry. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. I'm uh. I'm excited about the, the changes that are happening. I'm, you know, I'm posting on Facebook and my Daughter of the King page on Facebook, which I'll put a link to down below. Uh, if you're not following me on there, you can. I've been posting daily, uh, like, progress reports, updates about what I did that day. Um, and I appreciate all the encouragement I've gotten, all the positive feedback, the support. I need it, guys. I need it. Because every morning, it's a struggle when I get up and do anything. I'm lazy by nature, so it's it's hard for me to want to get up and do anything. I've also been trying to somewhat watch my portions. I'm not eating super duper healthy stuff all the time, but I'll have a fruit, a fruit of some kind for breakfast and a fruit uh, for a snack. So I usually will have like an orange in the morning, and then for like my afternoon snack, I'll have like an apple. And so I've been trying, when it comes to my meals, I've been trying to watch my portions and try not to eat as much as I usually do, but that's been difficult too. Um, <laughs> I love food. You guys know me. I love food, and I love to eat food, and it's been very hard to try to limit myself. And I've been using the uh, my fitness pal app um, to track the calories I take in and I add in my exercise for the day how much water I drank that day and for the past two or three days I've been below my calorie limit which is like yay so I'm trying to make positive changes I'm trying to like I said I walk once in the morning once in the evening each time it's between 10 and 15 minutes, my back has been really been a butthole because it's just my back will start to hurt a few minutes into the walk. And so I'll usually stop and sit and rest for like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and get up and keep on walking. So I'm trying to make positive changes. I'm trying to become more physically active, and that's the bottom line for me. And if I lose weight, awesome. If I get skinnier, awesome but that's not the goal the goal is just to keep moving stay physically active so i just wanted to kind of update you guys i'm also looking for because my back pain is a real problem i'm i i can't stand up for too long of a time i'm trying to get more physically active so i can stand up for long periods but um i'm really in, on the hunt for um recipes like healthy or ish recipes that don't take forever to prepare or cook or bake or whatever um so i'm looking for some simple easy to follow recipes that are on the healthier side of things um so if you have any suggestions or links to recipes that you try that you like that are healthy um 
let me, please use the links below, comment below. I do have the Pinterest app on my phone, and I go there now and then see what I can find, but Pinterest has always been just overwhelming for me. There's just so much cram in such a little space, and you're just like, for me, that's something that I have a problem with. I'm like overwhelmed by it all. I don't even know what to look at first. So, um, <laughs> so I, I'm on the hunt for recipes, for healthy recipes, and, um, I definitely want to walk more, and the cooler temperatures will help with that. But, um, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the encouragement. Um, I appreciate that because those, those comments motivate me and inspire me to keep going on the days when I just don't want to do anything active at all. And I do have those days. So, uh, just last night, I was supposed to go to church for Bible study, and I had a major fibromyalgia attack where, where I was just, I just had no strength, no energy at all. I was so weak. I, um, I, I just, I went to bed at like, at like six o'clock. And just stayed in bed all evening and watched videos on my phone because I just didn't have the strength to do anything. So, I do have days that are, are a struggle for me. And I just cannot tell you enough how much I appreciate your support in this, guys. It's not easy to do. Um, the fiber medication I have is helping me a lot with this. It is helping me a great deal with this. But it's still a struggle. And so maybe if you guys have, if you guys are, have already, maybe some of you are already fit, maybe you're already at a good physical active level, maybe you can inspire me or tell me what, what helped you on your bad days when you had a hard time wanting to get up and get things done. Maybe you can leave me some, some, uh, some tips and advice on what helped you. And, um, I'd appreciate any kind of help with that, or recipes especially. I'm wanting to try to stop eating so many frozen dinners when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're single. Those frozen pizzas, frozen dinners, is the easiest thing to do because they're single serving. They're already put together for you. All you do is toss them in the oven, and they're done, and you eat them. <laughs> so, the frozen dinners are really, uh convenient option for me, but I'm willing to eat less of those and have more nutritious meals if I can. So, I'm going to shut up now and go, guys. Thank you again. Just thank you, thank you, thank you for your support and love and your encouragement because um, that really does help me on the days when I'm just like not wanting to even get out of bed. So, um, and, and if you want to, Pray, pray that, that the uh, the heat won't get to me too much because I'm telling you, I came in from a walk this morning and I was just, it took me about four hours to start feeling okay again after being on the walk. So I, it just drained, it just drained my energy just like that, and I just didn't want to move. I just didn't want to get up and do it after my walk. I didn't want to do anything because I was so overheated already from being outside for ten minutes walking. So, I'm going to go ahead and go, guys. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. And comment below with tips, advice, recipes, links to recipes, um, whatever down below. I'd appreciate it. And I'm going to go ahead and go and I'll see you guys in my next video.